Today I'm going to be getting into Nature Boy. Are we in a gender war? He also says that men have to put women in their place. If you're interested in hearing my commentary, it will come right after this video. There's a gender war going on. Is trying to turn uh, women against men. All they create now is the, the independent black woman. But all you're doing right. is leaving a woman defenseless against the world. Right, when white supremacy falls and their That's government correct. is falling as we speak, you right. won't have a man because you've been against him the whole time. Right. I'm not against a man. But you're I'm not against a man. You, you, you're up here being combative. He's asking against. me disrespectful, no, so he's no, disrespecting you're, you're, me. No, you're, be, you're up here being combative, representing, you see the woman in the chat, representing this woman that we're talking about. You're actually up here being an advocate in your energy for the for the woman that we're talking about. The independent woman? But how did she get independent? No she got woman. Independent. I'm gonna tell you exactly how. This is how no, she wait. got independent. She got independent because when we came here in slavery, you were very dependent on us and nature and our natural state. You were very dependent on the man. But what happened was they took the biggest blackest male. They, they tied that. him to two. Let me speak, please, without without interrupting. They, they took, you said you were intelligent now. Come on, let's be intelligent. Um, they took the biggest, blackest male they could find. They put up, they tied them to two horses, set them on fire, and ripped them apart in front of the woman. They beat the rest of the men down in front of the woman. And then when the woman, they, they tested the woman. They made sure that they beat the bitch out of her and made her independent and, 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 um, and scared and also dependent on that slave master. For this is what happened in slavery. So the black man and has always been under attack because he had to be dominated by the white male because they were scared to go to sleep around us. So they had to do this psych psych uh, psychologically mm -hmm. so that they could get rest because they were scared that when they went to sleep, we was going to kill them. Mm -hmm. So now today is a modern day version of it with the war on drugs, like you said, mm -hmm. with everything that's with, with prisons that were built. Prisons is yeah. They put us in there. They set up. They set up things for our kids yeah. to make sure that they're conditioned to go straight from school to the prison. Mm -hmm. This has all been conditioned this way. And the reason why you think that you have to be independent is because in this world, in this matrix, in this white supremacy, you do. You're left alone. Right. But we're trying to wake up in the process of us black men grabbing our balls, waking up, becoming dominant, becoming strong. We're met with the with the with the condition of our. our a psychological condition of our woman thinking that they're independent and that's one of our issues when we're trying to rise up and become men again and, uh, you're that right message. you're absolutely right absolutely why would you be, right. part, of, why would you be the pro why would you be part of if you're intelligent why would you be a part of any black man that's trying to step up and be a leader in any kind of way and be dominant as he should be and start, and start to grab his, grab his own power why would you be a part of you know, uh, degrading or stopping that process of black men becoming strong. I'm not trying to stop the process, but I, I don't know. listen, it was systematically done, yes. <laughs> the media literally has all, uh, sent the black man to be disrespectful, to degrade and just belittle the black woman. Period. Yes, but I, what, I, what I want to say is this. There's a, there, there's a, there's a thin line between us because, yes, you're right, you, we are confused. We're confused because certain men are directly disrespectful to females because females have disrespected themselves and the system has taught us all these things and we're all crabs in the barrel. We're in the darkness and they turned out the lights and we're talking about what's going on in darkness. We're bickering, we're arguing, not even yeah. paying attention to the fact that we're in darkness. Like, yo, dude, yeah. they turned the light on us. We're not the enemy of each other. It's the, the real enemy is laughing at us while we stay divided. So my thing is to educate people about what's really going on. Yes, you have ignorant black men out there because they don't have education, but it's our job. Me, Huggy, we're not just male chauvinists. We're actually educating black men and organizing their minds to wake up to be men. We're not just being dominant males. Hold on, hold on. We're not just being chauvinists. You come we, when you come here. We are implementing boundaries and dominance, absolutely. But do not confuse that with the disrespectful rappers out there that are actually just degrading women out of their ignorance. Well, we what we're teaching people knowledge of self. We're teaching men knowledge of self. We're actually in books. We're, we're educating ourselves. We're organizing ourselves. It's not just 
ignorance or just disrespecting women because you obviously can see we're not we're not taking um, disrespect from the from the um, ignorant woman that come here within their white supremacy, but we're actually sitting here uh, educating. And we, you could clearly see that we respect women. We respect women. It's a reverse yeah. psychology to say that we are. No, it's a reverse oh, psychology. Please, he clearly has women on his panel that he calls queens. He clearly has women right here on his panel that he's calling queens. That he's clearly that she's, he respects her and her and her righteous role. And her righteous role, he respects her. And and outside that yeah. role, he dish. He disrespects anybody that's outside of their natural role as a woman. Can I? Of course. Can I please, please? And that's just to create the boundary. That's to create the boundary to not allow skeezers, hoes, whores, and ratchet women to come thinking that they can hold yeah. that space. And that's just a boundary. That's so boundary. that you might think of it as, as, as abuse, but it's a boundary. No, I'm, and I'm also not. also lets the other woman know, yes, it, it also filters the good woman that are going to stay around and realize that, oh, he's not going to have us in our unnatural state. So mm -hmm. he's actually creating a filter so that real woman can, can hold this space. And then when the other woman come with disrespect, he has to check you hard so the other woman won't think that they could do it. So there has to be boundaries and laws and rules within his boundaries. So excuse me if you have gotten caught up within no. that because you've been you've been a bit combative. Your energy's kind of kind of bad. Man, she don't yeah. like. I'm asking for clarity. Like, you talk like, too much though, sis. Like you a problem. I would never be hey. like you. Never. That mouth. That's oh okay. my god. Because I'm, I'm just supposed to shut up and look pretty. No, yeah. it's not that you're supposed to shut up, but it, there's no, there's no respect. But y'all don't way. understand. It do go both ways, no, and that's what I be trying to you're say. Combative. You're combative. You're, you're, you're yeah, not very. There's you're a tip on that one. Well, if I just say it sweetly, like I just want to ask the question. Now you try. Like I don't, I don't get. How am I? How am I supposed to say it? I just want to ask. I don't think she was trolling though. I don't think she was trolling. She really. I really was it. That was really uh, it's not, it's not about, about it's not about that, brother. All I'm saying is that what I'm saying is with her, there's a there's an argumentative spirit. It's not even what she's trying to say. No, I just be asking there, like there more clarity. Argumentative spirit, yes, there is. She has okay, a, I, I mean, she has this, and she's she holding that spirit on back. purpose. We know what she what? know what she's doing. She's doing it for the crowd. She's doing it right. for the people. She's doing it. No, for all I don't know none of these people. There. I'm a new host. I don't care about all of this. They think they. Being strong is being masculine. They think no, that I don't want to be masculine. But actually, a woman's strength is to be everything a man is not. Right. So if a man is supposed to be aggressive, dominant, rule, then a woman's supposed to be very, be the very opposite of that. Not combative, meek, humble. These are the things that a female's supposed to be. The opposite of us. And you know when you're around a real woman, she defines you. The woman is the opposite of everything that we are. That's her power. Her power is to be, every, her purpose and power is to be everything that we're not. So we're arguing with our woman. It's actually white supremacy that has set this up against us. So this is our, this is a weapon. They're using our woman as a weapon. It is something that is running on its own axis, as it said in, in, in the Willie Lynch letter. This is something that has been conditioned mm -hmm. and that it runs on its own axis. So it's not something that they're, they're, they're directly doing. This is something that has been done and has been and it's, and it's actually existing on its own axis, meaning that it's perpetuating uh, without, us being aware, without, us, without, without us knowing that there's something behind yeah. it doing it. You know what I'm saying? They have already set this psychological conditioning of our woman, and we have to reverse this psychology by educating our woman and putting them in their place. The reason why he can talk like this is because he is surrounded by a bunch of weak-ass women. Women that he actually makes stand in the fucking corner as though they are children. Granted, a lot of them leave their children behind in order to be with him, but those are the type of women that he can train and reprogram. Now, don't get me wrong. I believe in a lot of his principles, but it's just hard for me to take it serious when he talks such foolishness like this. He is so full of himself. I think he actually loves himself more than these women even do. Just listen to him in this video right here. Because I didn't want to be alone. That's why I broke myself up into many pieces so that I could enjoy myself. But I, I, I included amnesia. <laughs> I made sure I included amnesia so I could forget that I'm God so that I can enjoy myself and others. 
I was bored. I'm alone. I'm afraid of being alone. That's why I did this. That's why we exist. Because I'm afraid of being alone. I am all that exists. And so I make myself forget. So I can enjoy it all. I go up, I go down. I'm negative and I'm positive. I'm everything. I play the trick on myself that I'm greater than myself, but I'm not greater than myself because I am. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. You will see me or either hear me in my next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.